Let's do a pre-flight at this Grobe 103 glider. We're going to start at the nose here and we're going to check out the nose hook. This is where we connect the rope attached to the tow plane that's going to pull us up into the air. We'll take a tow to about 3,000 feet above the ground. We'll release the rope and we'll go fly. Let's look at the tire. Checking for proper inflation, no leaks. The main wheel's chocked. We're looking for proper inflation. Any leaks from the brakes. General condition. Look at the leading edge for any damage. We've got a wing wheel attached so that the wings stay level for ease of our pre-flight. At the wingtip here, on both wingtips, we have a, a metal skid. And that is so that we can take off and land and momentarily drag the wingtip and not cause any damage. On some gliders, you might see a roller skate wheel. Either one works. All right, I'm gonna check the aileron. Looking for proper mo proper movement. All right, looking for proper movement of the aileron. There's a little bit of a delay between what my camera was showing and what my phone was showing, so I stopped using the phone because it was confusing me. I'm listening for any noise and feeling for any binding on the aileron. I want it to move freely and not show any signs of binding or any noise. There's a the front view. I'm still looking for any cracks, any damage all around the fuselage. Here's one static source, and there's part of our total energy system for the variometer to work. Show us whether we're in rising or descending air. Pitot tube, want to make sure it's no blocked. Leading edge with a vertical stabilizer, no damage. Leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer, no damage. I want to check for general security. Same thing on the elevator. We're going to check for freedom of movement, no binding. Now in this particular glider we have a trim tab. And we can talk about in another video what the trim tab does. But we want to make sure that it is serviceable and there's no damage. I'm going to check to make sure the rudder moves. We'll look at our rudder control connection down there. We're going to look at the tail wheel. All right, general security, make sure that the horizontal stabilizer is attached properly. And same thing on the right wing, general security, no damage, no dents and dings. You can see our spoiler panel. We'll show that come up out of the wing in a moment. We're gonna check the right aileron. By the way, this glider has about the same wingspan as a Citation business jet. But the glider only weighs about 800 pounds empty. All right, general security, freedom of movement. Same thing, we have a metal skid. Looks like this skid is muddy. So this skid has been used recently in the mud. All right, looking at the leading edge of the wing, looking for dings from rocks. This wing goes on forever. All right, we're gonna check the canopies. We don't want any cracks. We don't want the canopy to depart the airplane or the glider while we're flying. 
Notice the piece of yarn on each canopy. That's a yaw string, and that is our slip skid indicator. It lets, it's, it lets us know that we're flying coordinated. We've got a magnetic compass. Lever to deploy our spoilers. When the spoilers are up out of the wing, it lets us descend faster without pushing the nose over and increasing our airspeed. So the spoilers decrease our glide angle. With a clean wing, this glider glides at about 36 to 1. So if we're a mile high, we would glide 36 miles in still air before we touch the ground. With the spoilers deployed, we'd glide about 10 to 1. So if we're one mile high, we'd glide 10 miles before touching the ground. All right, back in the cockpit, we're going to check for aileron movement, elevator movement. Here's the rope we're going to pull to release the glider from the tow plane. And here's our airspeed indicator, a audio variometer, mechanical variometer, and an, our altimeter. Our altimeter, when it's set to the current altimeter setting, will show us height above sea level. And you can see that here we're 1,000... 380 feet above sea level at Bernie stage. All right, don't grab onto that. If you pull that back, the canopy will depart the aircraft and hopefully you have a parachute. We've also got a radio to talk to other pilots in the era, area as well as air traffic control. And we want to also check the placement of our rudder pedals. We'll check seatbelt security, our microphone, and in the back cockpit we have all the same things. Full set of instruments, full set of controls. Back here, I don't know if you can see that, but we have control connections, the wing attach points. We're going to check all of that to make sure everything is secure as well. And if everything looks good, we would be able to pull this glider out onto the runway and go fly.